Fools brought stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight. There are over 800 students who are enrolled in the Junior Reserve Officer Training Corps programs in Spring ISD. Diane is one of my students. Very proud of her. Lieutenant Commander Joe Cave has good reason to be proud of Decaney High School senior Diana Huaman. We have a young lady standing before you who came from another country and gained her American citizenship and grabbed hold of all the opportunities that were presented to her, listened to her outstanding teachers, and has excelled. She is presented with a Naval Reserve Officer Training Corps scholarship. If you can't read that, that says $180,000. As graduation nears, Spring High School JROTC students are reaping rewards too. So this is for Sarah. Captain James Boyer awards Sarah Thompson her scholarship. And it says $185,000 for a Navy scholarship. <laughs> Sean Benani won a scholarship for the same amount, but he turned it down. Now the good news is he's got a much bigger check. $560,000 for the Naval Academy. And Michelle Browning won a $185,000 scholarship too. And she's not going to take the ROTC scholarship. Instead, she's going to get the uh, largest check of, uh, of all. She's going to go to the Naval Academy Prep School and then join Sean at the Naval Academy. And at $600,000, that is one big check. That colors. The Westfield High School JROTC program is finding success as well. So it would be a brace map and it would have one whole part and break down more specific each time. Yeah. Yeah. These students competed in the 2011 Army JROTC Leadership Bowl. Over 1,000 teams from across the country began the competition and Westfield High School was among the 5% that made it to the final contest near Washington, D.C. They give you the kind of tools that you need to help create synergy or everyone working together doing better than everyone by themselves. Westfield High School will have a team competing at that national level again this year. These JROTC students at Spring ISD are securing their future and their countries.